Welcome back to Bible Shorts, episode 67. Didn't you promise me Solomon would be king? Now, remember in last week's episode, we learned how one of King David's sons, Absalom, had raised a rebellion against his father and was defeated in battle and died. Now, years have passed, and now King David is really very old and very weak, and is in fact bedridden. And David, remember, has many sons by several wives, but he had promised Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, that her son would succeed him on the throne. But another of David's sons, the younger brother of Absalom, called Adonijah, saw an opportunity to make himself king instead of Solomon. He got chariots and horses ready with 50 men to run ahead of him, just like his brother Absalom had done. Joab, David's nephew, and commander of David's army, and Abiathar, one of the priests, gave him their support. But another priest named Zadok, Benaniah, one of David's mighty men, one of his mighty warriors, and Nathan the prophet, remained loyal to him, along with David's special personal guard. Adonijah invited all the sons of David, except Solomon, to join him for a banquet. All the royal officials of Judah were also invited, but not Nathan the prophet, or Benaniah, or the men of David's special guard. When Nathan the prophet heard about the plot, he went to Solomon's mother, Bathsheba, and said, have you not heard that Adonijah has become king and our Lord David knows nothing about it? He said to her, Let me advise you how you can save your own life and the life of your son Solomon. And Nathan urged her to go to King David. So Bathsheba went to see the king and bowed down before him. She told him, did you not swear to me, Solomon your son shall be king after me, and he will sit on my throne? Why then has Adonijah become king? Bathsheba pleaded with him, and Nathan confirmed the plot, telling David, Right now they're all eating and drinking with Adonijah, and saying, Long live King Adonijah! David then called Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet, and Benaniah, his mighty man, and told them to put Solomon on the king's own donkey and take him just outside the city where a large crowd could gather. When Solomon arrived, Zadok the priest took a horn of sacred oil and anointed Solomon as king. They sounded the trumpet and everyone shouted, Long live King Solomon! People played pipes and celebrated so loudly that the ground shook. Adonijah and all the guests who were with him heard it as they were finishing their feast. And on hearing the sounds of the trumpet, Joab asked, What's the meaning of all this noise in the city? And even as he was speaking, Jonathan, son of Abiathar the priest, arrived. Adonijah said, Oh, come in! A worthy man like you must be bringing good news. Not at all, Jonathan answered. Our Lord King David has made Solomon king. They have gone back up into the city cheering, and the city resounds with it. That's the noise you hear. Jonathan went on to say, Solomon has taken his seat on the royal throne, and all the king's servants came to congratulate our Lord King David, saying, May God make the name of Solomon more famous than yours, and make his throne greater than yours. 
And David replied to them, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who today has granted one of my offspring to sit on my throne and permitted me to witness it. Then all of Adonijah's guests rose in alarm and ran off. Adonijah, in fear of Solomon, went and took hold of the horns of the altar inside the city where the Ark of the Covenant was kept. Solomon was informed, Adonijah is afraid of you. He's hanging on to the horns of the altar and won't leave. He says, let King Solomon swear to me first that he will not kill his servant with the sword. And Solomon responded, well, if he proves to be a worthy man, not one of his hairs shall fall to the ground. But if wickedness is found in him, he shall die. Then King Solomon sent to have Adonijah brought down from the altar. Adonijah came to do obeisance to King Solomon. And Solomon said to him, Go home. When David was close to death, he told his son Solomon, I am about to go the way of all the earth. Be strong. Be courageous and keep the charge of the Lord your God, walking in all his ways, so that you may prosper in all that you do and wherever you turn. David then reminded Solomon of the promise God had made to him. God told me, If your heirs take heed to their way to walk before me in faithfulness with all their heart and with all their soul, then there shall not fail you a successor on the throne of Israel. When David died, he was buried in Jerusalem, which we know is also known as the city of David. And Solomon dealt with those who had supported Adonijah's rebellion and was firmly established as king. Look for Bible Shorts, episode 68. And the Lord said to Solomon, Ask what you would like me to give you.